Hi, and welcome back at cloudbackuping.com. My name is Mauricio Prinslau, and in this video, I am going to review a new cloud storage service, which is called Bitkaza. And the interesting thing about Bitkaza is not that it offers cloud storage, but rather that it's going to offer infinite, unlimited online storage in the cloud. And also, not, it's not only about backup, it is also about syncing. So all the beauty that you know um, of Dropbox is now transferred into an unlimited solution. And that is what I was always looking for. And currently the software is in beta, so I expect there to be a little bugs, but uh, I got the chance to sign up for the beta of Bitcasa and you can do as well. If you click on the link in this uh, little review, then you can sign up for the beta and uh, sign up as a new user and test the service and tell me what you think about it. I would be really interested if you are having uh, other issues than, than I, or uh, if you find anything else that you would like to comment on, please leave a comment in this review as well. So we are going to uh, start now by downloading Bitkaza, by downloading the software and creating a new account from scratch and see how the service works in practice. Let's start by downloading the software for the Mac. And here it is already. I'm starting the installer. I'm sorry for some elements here being in German, but my, my Mac is set up in German. So that's why you're going to find some gibberish here during the review. But it's obviously going to be the same for your Mac, for your English speaking Mac, so to speak. And you have to type in the password because Bitkaza needs to dig a little deeper into your file system to be able to uh, uh, do its thing here. And when you're uh, ready with the installation, you can uh, create a new user or if you already have an account, you can log in and sync your files among multiple devices here. I am a new user, so that's why I'm going to create a new account. And you need your first name, your last name, your email address, and then you're going to set up a password and also a name for your computer that you will be able to identify that in the network in case you want to sync uh, this computer or files among multiple computers. And in the next step, you're being asked uh, to type in a security uh, a challenge question in case you just forget your uh, your password that you're going to be able to recover that. And uh, I'm just going to fast forward here this process a little bit so that you're not going to get bored. OK, and after installing Bitkaza, it's going to open up your browser and explain to you a little bit how the, st the service is going to work. And now you are also able to invite people to the service if you share uh, the link uh, via Facebook or uh, Twitter or via email. And Bitkaza is really easy to use. They have also some tutorial videos here. Obviously, when you see this video, I think you will not be needing to watch uh, those videos here. And um, everything should be quite self-explanatory. And uh, I'm just going to test here how uh, the process and how the service works in general, if the backup works, if the syncing works, and if the uh, web client works uh, as intended to access my data from everywhere I go. Now, you don't have to open necessarily the software. You just go into your folders, and the folder that you want to back up um, could be any folder on your system. So uh, when you choose a folder to back up to put into the cloud, you just make a right click and there you find a function called Cloudify This. And with Cloudify This, the folder gets moved into the Bitkasa cloud and uh, in the beta, they are not going to delete your folder. But in the final version, they will delete your folder from your PC and uh, back that up into um, Bitkaza. And you have a, this is a Bit Bitkaza program here, and it shows the Bitkaza folders that you are using uh, to back up your files. So uh, currently it is uploading um, the folder uh, I selected. This is a folder with several audio files, video files, etc. I think it's around five gigabyte in size. So it's gonna take a while, but you can see the details uh, anytime you click on the folder and then on the right hand side you're going to find the remaining hours to transfer uh, the data and you can also pause that for example if you uh, want to give priority to another folder that you're currently uh, uploading and um, yeah this is the information you get and uh, now it's just uh, you just have to wait until everything's backed up but for the purposes of this video I'm just going to board uh, this process and I'm just going to choose because I want to test the syncing service as well. I'm just going to choose a folder that is has a little bit less uh, size, uh, just a folder with some pictures in it and uh, see how that's going to work. 
Okay, now I'm connected to my MacBook Pro, as you can see at the top bar uh, of that window. And I want to try to sync uh, data uh, between those two machines, between my iMac, which is now here at the top, and uh, my MacBook uh, Pro. Um, currently, I do not see yet the May folder I'm uploading there in my uh, MacBook Pro. And uh, that's why I'm just going to try it with a smaller folder and see whether uh, it appears and whether it syncs uh, correctly to um, from my iMac to my MacBook Pro. That's why I created a little folder at the top right, which is called Bitkaza Test with some pictures in it. So this is not more than a couple of kilobyte or, or even one or two megabytes, I'm not quite sure. And you can see that this is uploading uh, uh, pr quite, quite fast. So uh, if you click on that, um, it's just gonna calculate. It's, it's roughly a megabyte in size. And now um, it actually is ready and should appear on my MacBook Pro, but uh, it doesn't. So something is wrong. I don't know exactly what is wrong, but the syncing does not work. I'm in the same network here, so uh, that should work quite fast. And I had to play around a little bit to figure out what was uh, the problem. Uh, I, I couldn't figure out what was a problem, but what I could figure out, and probably the guys at Bitcasa can help me with that when they see this video or other uh, people could help me out with that when they see this video is um, I had to um, close the Bitkaza client at my MacBook Pro and restart it and then the folder would reappear or would appear on my MacBook Pro. So this is obviously a process I don't want to do all the time when Bitkaza is finally ready and in the final version. And probably you can tell me if you also encountered this problem, uh, the syncing problem uh, with your version of Bitkaza and your system configuration as well. Then I tried to access the files uh, from the web client. And here we are directly in our Bitkaza portal, as they call it. And you can see that the folder, the tests I created, and you can see I did a couple of tests to see whether the syncing works, but I couldn't get it uh, to work without restarting the client. But in the web client, they're all there and well, Granted, it is a quite rudimentary uh, client yet. I think they're going to uh, pimp that up a little bit in further versions that you're going to get uh, a little more flexibility with that. And you can go in and download the files from within that web client as well. But we're going to have a look also at the client software again to see how the sharing functionality works. Because you can also share your folders um, with other people and other people that have Bitkaza installed uh, can access those folders and modify files with it so that collaboration is a little easier. And um, for that purposes, we're just going to create a little uh, folder that we call Bitkaza Share. And you just drag it into the Bitkaza folders and it gets a folder that is uh, pretty much um, shareable. So uh, after that folder appears. Oh, let's see. There it is. Um, the only thing you have to do is uh, click on um, the folder and then click on send this. And uh, Bitkaza will create a quite lengthy uh, encrypted URL here that you can copy and send to your friends or colleagues and then start collaborating on that folder. But note, obviously, you have to um, be a Bitkaza member, a Bitkaza user, um, to be able to work uh, with that folder and modify those files. Okay, I hope I could give you a little insight into Bitkaza, and uh, probably now you know whether you want to try out the beta version of Bitkaza, because it's so very attractive with infinite uh, storage, and the final version is going to be offered for only 10 bucks a month, and this is very cheap, especially if you compare it to Dropbox, which costs $9.99 uh, for only 50 gigabyte. But um, obviously they have to show that they're also as reliable as uh, Dropbox. So if you like this video, um, please head to cloudbackupping.com uh, slash bitkaza review and there you're going to find a sign up link where you can sign up to get the beta version of that software thank you very much for listening to this video and check out my other videos on this channel and we're going to see us next time bye bye